Hey guys, this is Crystal from Cross Stitch Revival and this is floss tube number 14. Today is Friday, March 19th. It's early in the morning and last week I felt like I had so much to go through. I couldn't catch my breath and it was a little stressful. So this week there's a lot less and hopefully I'll feel a lot more relaxed and, um, you know, not so stressed out about all this. So anyway, <laughs> let's get started. Um, so life updates. Oh goodness. Um, my mom, she, um, she had some health issues. So I've been helping her with that and she has some upcoming tests. So we're just taking it one day at a time. And good news, my son graduated physical therapy. So he's been in physical therapy for a few months and um, he's been, he started therapy when he was, oh goodness, about six months old. He started physical therapy and then when he got a little bit older, he started speech therapy and occupational therapy and he has been in and out of those therapies ever since then, off and on for different issues because as he grows, um, he faces different challenges with his autism um so but i'm really proud of him he's been working hard and he graduated physical therapy so and he's excited because that's one day a week that he doesn't i mean he had fun in therapy but he doesn't like to leave his computer <laughs> so that's one more day a week that he doesn't have to worry about leaving his computer so he's asleep right now um i don't know for how long so we'll see um, yesterday I posted a, an unboxing video for the Layla May Stitching with the Housewives Retreat, if you're interested in that. And tonight, um, the retreat starts, it's a couple hours over Zoom tonight, and then it is, um, 9 to 5 my time tomorrow. It's 8 to 4 central, but 9 to 5 for me. So I'm looking forward to that. And... I, in the, if you watched that video, I talked about tornado warnings. Thankfully, um, the weather took a turn and it was actually just, except for maybe like a 15 minute quick thunderstorm, it was actually sunny and beautiful for a large part of the day. So I was really thankful because I was super stressed out the night before they were given some very, very, very serious warnings about the threat of tornadoes and destructive winds. You know, they canceled school. Well, they switched to virtual learning for school and all that jazz. But anyway, um, I know there was some other destruction across other parts of the country. But here where I live in South Carolina, we made it out clear. I'm very thankful for that. So anyway, that's life updates. <laughs> the rest of it you're going to hear through my um, whips and haul and things like that. Okay, so March Madness. When I last filmed, um, I left off with, I believe it was the final eight is where I left off. So the final four was between Hop, and this is Hop, this is what I've got done. This is on um, Bestitch Me Fabric, I think it's a 27 count Linda, and I'm using some of the call for colors and some were just for my stash. And the contender with that was Nativity Row by Bit Creek. And here's Nativity Row. And Hop One. So at that point, I had gotten to, I believe, somewhere around here with Nativity Row. One of my mom's doctor appointments I had to wait for outside. I got the donkey stitched. And then, um, I've continued working on this. I only have this angel to finish and to put these stars in and I'll be done with that. So, I'm very close to this. So, even though it lost, it's almost a finish. And I love that. I just don't know whether to try to frame it because it's, I don't know, it's such an unusual size. Um, I think I'm just going to try to mount it to a board with a bow or something. I don't know. My mom really likes it. So it may end up at her house. So I'm trying to think, well, what would she like? 
because her style is different than my style. Oh, I'll figure that out later. But anyway, then the next two was Rudolph and Mr. Claus by Stitching with the Housewives from um, a Sip of the Season series. And when I first started uh, March Madness, I just had like a little bit done here. So I put in some more pajamas and finished the cup and put Mr. Claus. So of those two, oh, and that was up against my Love My Stitching, which the only thing I have left on this is to fill in right here. And there's another block right here. It looks like this. It says Ada. It goes right here. And to finish this border. And this will be ready to fully finish. So this one won. So that left it between Hop and Love My Stitching. So the day that I was supposed to stitch on Hop, this one. I started putting in this green right here and I just hated every stitch. I was just like, I don't want to stitch on this. How did this make it so far? <laughs> it was my own undoing. And I just was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to stitch on this today. There's nothing wrong with the pattern. I'm just not feeling it. And I don't like to do things that I don't want to do. You know, unless it's necessary. And stitching this pattern was not necessary. So I just said on Instagram, I said, you know what? I've decided this wins. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. That's the one I want to do. That's the one I'm going to finish. Sorry for everybody who voted for Hop. I love you. I appreciate your votes, but I just could not do it. So with that, for me, leaves March Madness over except for I am going to finish this. I have everything I need to finish it into a project bag, which is the whole point of the pattern, is to make it into a project bag. This is by Hands On Design and So Much To Love. And, you know, I'm a type B personality. I don't do schedules, even if I set up the schedule. I know this about myself. I'm about to be 41 years old. I understand my personality. So, when it's fun, so like the first three or four days, I was super excited and I was loving it. And then after that, I was like, I just want to stitch what I want to stitch. And because I had other things going on in my life, like my mom being sick, I had migraines, you know, just daily responsibilities. I didn't have time to really split it up into... March Madness stitching and like selfish stitching. So I just got frustrated and said, I don't know about this. Now I would do it again, but I would approach it differently. I would either, I would either only do patterns that I absolutely loved and wanted to finish. And because I didn't have enough whips to really do that, that I could get finished in the month of March. I didn't have enough to really pick from that I knew I would be satisfied. And also maybe just not enter as much or just have people vote on the whips um, instead of stitching them every day. Just have them vote through the month and then finish one of the whips, if that makes sense. So we'll see. But it was, it was super fun to vote on everyone else's. And, you know, I felt so bad because I was like, Oh, I don't want people to think that I don't like their stitching if I don't vote for it. You know, if I vote for the other one. It's just, you know, sometimes you just have a favorite pattern or a designer. Or you see that someone's so close to being done. And you're just rooting for them to get that whip done. Because you know that they're going to be, you know, satisfied and happy. And they're going to feel accomplished if they get that whip done. So, overall, March Madness was a ton of fun. And I would just approach it differently. Um, so... That's it. That's March Madness. So I'll keep you guys posted on um, I Love My Stitching Bag. Um, moving on. the I have a new start. I purchased the Barbara Anna Dreaming Girl. I think I mentioned this. I think I mentioned this in my last floss too. I purchased this from Creative Poppy. The Dreaming Girl Sal. 
and I just fell in love with that pattern. And I love all the changes that, you know, people are making to it. Um, I'm not making any changes. I'm going to stitch it as it is, but I love seeing other people's changes. And this is what I've gotten done so far. I just worked on it a little bit. This is the called for fabric. It is 32 count azure, azure, if I say that, <laughs> sorry, A-Z-U-R-E, you know what I'm saying, blue, uh, Lugana. And I just got part of her face in and I just felt, I mean, this design I think is just beautiful beautiful no matter what skin tone you use the way she did her face with the freckles i love it and here's here's the flosses my dmc this is all dmc and this fabric is awesome to work with it feels great it takes me a little bit longer to stitch on because i had kind of gotten spoiled with some of that lori holt 25 count and some ada and now that i'm stitching a little bit more on some smaller even weaves i'm like Oh, it's so slow, even with the sewing method, because I have to really pay attention to my counting. But I really like that. And this project, oh, this project bag is a clear Moda project bag that I had got from Fat Quarter Shop probably over the summer. And I really like this. I'm sure that it, I think it was like $13, so, um, you know, it, it was a little bit on the expensive side for just a clear vinyl bag, but it's really sturdy, and this is the second project I've had in it. And you can see everything. It's good for something that has a lot of pages or, you know, whatever. So, the other whip that I worked on that was not March Madness, and this was, this was my, this was my, um, I'm frustrated, so I'm going to pull this out and work on it instead whip. And that's my Lori Holt so by row. Oh. Okay. You're not going to see that. <laughs> I'm going to cover that up. Lori Holt so by row. Oopsie daisy. Um, this is all wrinkled because I had it crammed in the bag. But I've just been slowly working on these throughout the week. And oh, I love this pattern. And, um, I had mentioned before, a couple floss tubes ago, that I wanted to do the quilt, so I bought the, I mean, <sighs> Fat Quarter Shop has a block of the month for the quilt version of this, for the quilt version. And I was like, that's too expensive for me, I can't do that. So I bought the, just the pattern book from eBay. And my plan was just to do, like, maybe a little wall hanging with some scissors, maybe a sewing machine or something. But the more I stitch on this, I mean, I love it so much. I really want to make that quilt. So, I went in and canceled some other things that I was paying for, like monthly subscriptions. Different, um, like, video subscriptions, apps. It's different things we weren't using. And budgeted for that, so, for that sew by row quilt along so I'm excited for that and I have some other quilting things that are piling up and I'm not getting to and I'm really trying to make an effort to do that so this week there's a if you see it there's a pile on my sewing desk where I have started the shine on um Bonnie and Camille quilt bee quilt which is the same one that the Fat Quarter Shop is doing the stitch along of the cross stitch version on right now. I have one of the first three blocks done. And I might try to finish that today before I start this cross stitching retreat because I've already got everything cut out. And I just have a block and a half to go. And that way I can clean up my mess and put it away. So we'll see. So that's it for whips. Um, I also stitching on some of the stuff for the retreat and of course the Priscilla and Chelsea chart I just put maybe five five little rows in but I can't show that chart yet and the um, I have everything put away for the little make it take it I just I did like this much so you guys will see that next week for the Layla May designs so, I want to move on to Stitchy Kindness. I received some Stitchy Kindness this week. 
And the first Peachy Kindness was, let me show everything out, was from Rebecca. And she sent me this super cute card. You see, it has a little shimmer with the cat. And she sent a sweet note. And she sent me a baggie of DMC, which I already picked from. <laughs> I laid it out and looked at all the colors and was like, okay, what do I need to get? Thank you, Rebecca. And she sent me floss bags and bobbins. So thank you, Rebecca. You are so sweet. And that was such like a bright, sunny moment. I mean, it's just so thoughtful, you know. <sighs> Y'all are so nice. I mean, this you hear every floss hooper say it, that oh, I love this community is because the cross stitch community is super cool, super nice, super generous, and you know, not everybody can mail stuff, buy stuff, whatever, but you know, the comments on videos, Instagram, Facebook, supporting each other, cheering each other on, you know, we all have struggles going on in our life, we all have stress going on in our daily life, and this is our outlet. This is our escape from that. And to get those little boosts, I mean, it really means a lot. It means a lot getting kind comments and support. I mean, it, it really does. So, I just, I thank you guys. You know, doing this has gotten me through a lot of hard times since I started Floss Tube. And definitely cross-hitching. Cross-hitching is my, literally my therapy. So, um... You know, just thank you. I love you. I love you. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> and the next thing I got was this adorable thank you card from Tanya. And Tanya won a giveaway. And isn't that pretty? I love that. And she sent, in her thank you card, she sent this little baggie of 2021 charms. And I love that because I like to make quilted, um... They're no so quilted ornaments. And this past year, I didn't make any. It was just like, I guess because of the pandemic, it was just kind of like, I don't know. I didn't make any. But most years, I make those ornaments. And these are perfect to put on those ornaments. And of course, any cross stitch ornaments I make. As you know, to remember, it was 2021. So thank you so much. That was so sweet. I really appreciate it. Okay, on to haul. I'm going to drink a tea. On to haul two fabrics um, that I got to make project bags with and I also ordered like things like the batting I ordered some plain zippers and things like that to make my project bags but this is the good stuff so I ordered some Mandalorian fabric I have you know I'm not a huge Star Wars fan I just I don't know just I like it but I'm not in the fandom if that makes sense and I started watching the Mandalorian and I mean I was obsessed with Mandalorian I love it love it love it love it and it makes me want to go back and try to understand more of the Star Wars but there's just so much and my husband's like don't you remember an episode blah 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 and so and so did this and then he's like whatever like my husband knows like the, you know everything about it and I'm like no I don't remember that <laughs> But the Mandalorian, I loved it. Of course, I love Baby Yoda. So, I love this fabric. I'll make a project bag out of this. This is called Hello Friend from Camelot Fabrics. I picked that up on Etsy. And this uh, is part of a line that was just released of like 10 different Mandalorian prints. So, if you like that, just search um, Mandalorian fabric and you're going to see this. It's all over Etsy, Fat Quarter Shop. I also ordered... This Harry Potter fabric to make a Harry Potter bag. Um, this year, Parker and I read the first Harry Potter book. I've read them all myself, but um, Parker's finally old enough to where he's interested in in that you know in that story. So, one thing we do at the beginning of our school day is he gets out an activity like. Um, sticker pages or drawing, usually Legos, and he plays Legos, and I read out, I read aloud a chapter of the book. So, 
Harry Potter, reading that aloud took forever because even, I mean, we had to break the chapters up because it was just, you know, once you get to like 30 minutes, we got to move on with other subjects. So it took us about six weeks to get through the first Harry Potter book. So that was a big chunk of our the first half of our school year. So that, but we made so many good memories. We have so many good conversations and jokes and that's my favorite part of our homeschool day is when I do the read alouds and we just hang out and and just, you know, I don't know. It's awesome. I love it. And of course, you don't have to homeschool to do that. <laughs> you know, we read to our kids like any time. But um, I just choose, you know, we do it because we're already homeschooling. So we do it during homeschool time. So I don't think we're going to get to the second book this year. We just have some other books that we're working on. So I'm hoping that the first book we read for his next school year, which, you know, will be like, I think we'll probably do it in August, um, will be the second Harry Potter book. So I'm excited about that. Okay, so last week I showed you guys this pattern. And um, I guess, you know, I'm getting curious about things like samplers and stuff, and the thing is, is 99% of the time, I'm watching Floss Tube on my phone, which is this big. So when someone shows a sampler, I, I can see that it's beautiful, but I can't really see it. And as I talked about last week, I don't really have an LNS to go look at models, and so, sometimes all that uh, samplers just kind of look the same, and I can't see the detail. So, I, you know, I was like, well, I like samplers, but I don't know where to start. There's tons of beautiful ones, but they're, you know, 300 by 250 um, stitches, and I can't start out with that. So, what do I do? So, I would browse on Etsy. Um, I would write down names when I was watching Floss Tube, but I still was just having so much trouble. I was like, well, what can I commit to? Because these look like a lot of work, a lot of money to invest in a big piece of fabric, and a lot of money on thread. And, you know, I just didn't know if I was ready for that. So, Mama Loves You GB on YouTube was doing a 6,000 subscriber giveaway, and she showed a, a couple different, well, she showed several different charts, but this was one of the charts, and I had entered to win it for the giveaway. I didn't win, but I really was like, I would love to win that because I just really liked it, and so I, I finally decided, you know, I love that chart that she showed. It's not complicated. It's not massive, so I'm going to go support that designer it didn't, it was like, it's, um, I showed this last week. Okay, so let me show you the chart. It's Whilst Iris Naps, and it's Ada Billison, 1863. So last week, I just insert the picture on the screen because I didn't have it with me. And this is a PDF download, so. And what I love about, uh, Christ I think her name's Christina from Whilst Iris Naps, is she does all this research on these samplers that she reproduces. And she goes into the detail, and I just love it. And she has such a passion for the samplers that she does. And I love the colors. I love the sentiment. And I thought it was a good size for me to dip my toe into the sampler world. So last week, I showed you guys the flosses that I picked up at the local needle workshop that I visited on my anniversary. So that's these. And this is... um. Well, I thought I pulled the call for fabric, but I didn't. Anyway, I just wanted to, I wanted to show you the call for, I mean, not the call for fabric. I wanted to show you the fabric I picked out, but it's over there in the corner in my fabric bin. I can't get to it. But I also just wanted to talk about this new chapter in my cross-stitch journey. And I don't know where it's going to lead. I mean... I sit there and I watch Floss Tube and I see stuff like oh, Consider the Lilies. That thing is gorgeous. 
but could I do it? I don't know. I don't know if I could do it at this point in my life. I know, I'm sure one day if I want to do it, I can, but how do you get to that point, you know? So anyway, I love this, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to refrain myself from starting it, but I'm trying to kit up some things for Mania. I'm not going to do like a gazillion starts for Mania, but I have ordered a bunch of charts, and you know, with Expo and everything else, and I feel like this is a great time to kind of just start some of those. Mania would be a fun way to do it. Um, it's less commitment than March, Ma March Madness. So anyway, I love that. Um, the fabric I'm going to stitch it on, I think, is a Miss Stitch Me fabric. So I'll show that next time. Okay, so the fabric that I pulled that I was going to show with that was the wrong fabric. One of the charts that I ordered from Expo was the was Hello from Liz Matthews Butterfly Cloche. So, this is the call for fabric, and it is, picture this, plus Bramble. I ordered, I did a 32 count. I'm not sure which, I think hers is, this model is 36 or something. I ordered 32. This is so beautiful. I ordered this from Pumpkin Creek Primitives, or Pumpkin Creek Prim, on Etsy, and it is just gorgeous. I may have shown this last week. If I did, I'm sorry. It's just a beautiful piece of fabric. And it was in my stack of stuff to show you guys. So I really can't remember. I remember talking about how uh, Bobby sent tea, I think. And she sent she sends like tea and a little packet of goodies, like buttons and a, a needle threader. So this is, I mean, this is just gorgeous. I think you can, yeah, that's a good, that's a good look at it. So, I hope there's plenty left over to do a second project because I love that fabric. I ordered the rest of my floss that I needed for, I call it, like, when I think about it, I think of, like, Mother's House or something like that because I'm stitching it with my mom, but it's Winter Rose Manor. But I always think of, like, Mother's House. I don't know why in my brain it's, like, Mother's House. So I'm stitching it for my mom. And my goal of getting that done by Mother's Day is, like, laughable at this point. There's no way I'll get that done by Mother's Day. So, um, I ordered these from Etsy from a store, um, that I love. I'm just going to show you that because I want to share the store with you. It's called Finish a Quilt. And I always get great customer service from this shop. Fast shipping, which, you know, once it gets to the USPS, they can't control it, but... Um, she just has really good customer service. And there were two pieces of candy in here, but I gave that to my son. He liked that. It was two pieces of Easter candy. Okay, when I was at the needle workshop week before last, one of the models they had was one of the hands-on design block party models. And it was this one. It was the Java. Yeah, it's just called Java. I took that out of the package. And I had never seen one in person. I've seen people work on them, especially um, Elizabeth Ann Kinsich has been doing her meow block party for March Madness. And I've seen pictures of this online, but I, not enough to pique my interest. But when I saw it in person, I went, oh, I love that. And she let me, she took it out of the case and let me look at it and everything. And I just absolutely fell in love with that. So, I ordered that pattern, and I've also ordered the call for fabric um, to stitch it on because I want it to be the right size and, you know, and all that. So, the call for fa fabric is brandy wine linen. I'm not used to stitching on linen, but I'll figure it out. It'll be fine. And it came with the little piece of felt that goes on top. So, I love that. I didn't get the pins because they're a little bit more expensive, and I thought... I'm not getting the pins until I actually finish that thing. But I love it so much. I love all of them. I love this one. Meow. Woof. Um, the B one. I don't know the name of it. But it's like. It's chalkboard looking fabric with bees. I love the one that has the sewing machines. And the different sewing tools on it. I love all of these block parties. 
I would love to have a shelf back here with just like block parties. Okay, and that's a lot of haul. Um, another thing I got a haul was this Jelly Bean Jubilee book. And I know you've seen everybody stitching patterns from this. It's really cute. And I'm not going to start one right now. I have too many things going on. But I would like to pick one to do for Mania. That way I have an Easter start. Um, another Easter start. Because Easter and Spring is my favorite. Besides Christmas, my favorite, like, decor. And I need more Easter stuff. So I'd like to pick one to start out of that. My next piece of haul is Barnyard Bakery by Stitching with the Housewives. Glare, glare, glare. And this is from the Up on a Pedestal series. And um, even though there's like, I don't know, like this does not go with anything in my house, but I fell in love with it. And part of the reason is I talked about where that we read Harry Potter is that right now we're reading Charlotte's Web. But this is basically Charlotte. Um, this is basically Charlotte's Web on, on a tray. You've got the pig, you've got the chickens, the hens, um, and all I got to do is add Charlotte the spider somewhere. I thought that would be cute because. Since we're doing Charlotte's Web right now, and we'll probably be working on Charlotte's Web until about Easter, just as like a little memory, I thought, what if I just figure out a way to put a teeny tiny little black something for Charlotte, um, just to remember that time, because, I mean, we're not going to talk about the ending of Charlotte's Web, okay? Um, I don't even know how I'm going to prepare my son for that, but... I don't know. This is so special. And I mean, how can you resist those pigs? They're the cutest daggone thing ever. Let me see if it's... I mean, seriously, Priscilla. Cutest thing ever. Look at that pig. Look at him. I love it. So, guess what, guys? I love it so much. I got two. So I can give one away. So, um, this is a giveaway this week. If you would like Barnyard, what's it called? Barnyard Bakery. Just leave a comment um, and use the word bakery <clears throat> so that I can use that to search for it. And you have to be 18. Don't use win. Don't use giveaway so nobody can search for giveaways and hijack patterns from people who really want them and use the word bakery and I will whenever I do my next floss tube whatever day that is before I film I will um, do the drawing and um, yeah I mean I'd like to ask you guys a question but I can't think of one on the spot <laughs> I need a question for the giveaway instead of just telling you to use the word bakery. This time we do bakery. The next time I do a giveaway, I'll think of a question. Because I want to know more about you guys. I, I know I asked you where you lived one time. I don't know. I can't think. It's hard. Anyway, so I'm going to give one of those away. Okay, moving on. I ordered the new Fat Quarter Shop Home Sweet Home. back and forth on this because it's like I loved it but then I have some other things I want to stitch and I kind of want to like break away from um, some of the I don't know I, I want to kind of put on my big girl pants and try some more complicated cross stitch patterns but then I mean I just love it I love it and literally, okay, my living room is teal, my dining room is yellow, and my kitchen is green. And it's like, the colors of my house, I have to stitch it, okay? I have to stitch it. So, I love this. I love teal. 
with this fabric. So I ordered more of the fabric flare that looks like um, it's called white washboard. So I'm going to stitch it on that. Sorry about the crinkle. And I'll pull the flosses so you can see what I mean. It's DMC. This isn't every single color because I already had some of the colors. These are just the colors I had to buy at Hobby Lobby. So, try to get good light. Um, I just love the white's not going to show up. I know that. Um, I don't have to worry about the white on the porches. That'll be fine. I don't. The fence, I'm not worried about that. But the white flowers, I'll have to change the color. So, um, maybe I'll do the pink. Since there's a little bit of pink. I'll do pink. Probably pink or blue. Shoot. Might do yellow. I don't know. But I'll have to change colors. But I like that. It's cute. Whew. Okay. The next one, I, I have gotten this a couple weeks ago and I forgot to show it. When I was looking through all the Barbara Anna charts on Creative Poppy and just drooling, this one caught my eye. And it's not like anything that I have ever tried before. It's not like anything I've ever been attracted to before, but I fell in love with it. I'm going to pop a picture up because you cannot see it on this paper of the full thing. But the whole thing is called A New World by Barbara Anna. And it's a five-part series. Sorry, I got a message from my phone. It's a five-part series, and all five parts are stitched on a different um, fabric. And then you sew them together. And the first one is like a Halloween. It's Halloween-ish. So this is the first one. I'm just going to pop it up because this is a PDF printout. And, you know, it'll, you'll get a better look. So I'll pop that up. And it's called The Night of All Fears. And it's super cute. It's just Halloween themed. But as you move down the piece, it changes settings. So I can't see it really well on here, but there's a farm setting, a wood setting, a town setting, and an ocean setting or a sea setting. And I just loved it. I fell in love with it. And I definitely want to start this in May. I've ordered the fabric. I wanted to try to buy just a couple things of Monaco and dye each fabric close to the call for color. But that purple, I was afraid the purple, I would mess it up and spend more money messing it up than actually getting the result I wanted. So I did order the purple and I'll see about the others because they're more of neutral colors. So I don't want to have to buy five different pieces of fabric. That would get very expensive. So anyway, I'm excited about that. I chose two patterns for my immediate radar from the new Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine for Spring 2021. And I have the things here just to remind me what they are, but I don't have to pop up the picture. The first one is Prancing in the Tulips by Lindy Stitches. And that is part of a four-part series that she's starting this year. So I'm excited to see what other cat she comes up with. I really love that. And the other one that I chose to um, try to kit up was Springtime Cottontail by Teresa Kogut. And I just thought that was so stinking cute. And there are others in there that I love, but those are the two that I was most interested in stitching soon. I have three more things of all. <laughs> okay. I broke down and ordered me a stash and store to put next to my stitching spot. I'm so glad I did because I lose my scissors constantly. They flip in the floor constantly. They flip into my lap. I'm very klutzy. That was a good investment. And the other thing that I got was I ordered the Lori Holt. If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen this. The Lori Holt book stand. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I want to marry it. I love it. So, first of all, it's freaking cute, okay? 
it's pink. You know, it it's cute as all get out, but it's big. And you know, for those patterns that have overlap, it's such a pain in the butt trying to get those out and have them you know, they're falling all over the place and you're trying to figure out where you're at. You're trying to figure out the overlap. You're taping it together. I can stick it on there. I can magnetize it. It'll hold two pages easy. The wide patterns like the, um, the Nativity Row is about this, you know, it's as wide as that document stand almost. So I don't have to worry about that, either flapping out on the side or folding it over and flipping it back and forth. I love the size of it. So it's cute. I like the size of it. It's sturdy. It holds all my magnets and everything else. And, you know, I love the pink, but one day if I get sick of the pink, I can do, it's metal. I can just spray paint it. So I love that. The other thing was when I went to the local needle workshop, um, that morning my husband and I went thrifting. So he is a reseller. It's, it's like a hobby, but it's a job. He flips things he buys, like at Goodwill and Salvation Army, and sells them on eBay. So, we went to a couple Goodwills, and I got this bad boy. Um, I got this Ot Light, and it's an older model. It's gray for $13. So, it was funny because I was... My husband, I was like, I don't want to go to that Goodwill. I want to go to the quilting store and blah, blah, blah. And we had divided up the day into what he wanted to do and what I wanted to do. And it was like his turn. So I just shut up and I was like, okay, let's just go. Because he wanted to go look and see what he could find. So, of course, I'm strolling around and I, I spot that alt light. And I'm like, oh, it's an alt light. Because a regular alt light is really expensive. So, I was so excited to get one for $13. So far, it's working great. And I can see so much better. It's unbelievable. If this thing breaks, I'm going to save up and get me a big boy, you know, a new alt light. Because it is a game changer. It's unbelievable. I put that thing next to the couch. And it, that little LED, LED light I was using before. Forget about it. I mean, that was great, but having this art light, it's like, oh, I can see my stitching. I can see all my horrible white stitches. What's up with that? Why do white stitches have to be so bad? <sighs> anyway, I'm very excited about that. Wow, so I love Goodwill and thrift stores and, and all that. So, um, anyway, so for my plans, um, it's the Layla May retreat. If you have any questions about the retreat, you can leave them down in the comments and I will do a summary of that retreat and my experience on my next video. And then because of March Madness and having to stitch what was, you know, like my own schedule that I set up and then I didn't want to follow my own schedule um, I don't know what I'm going to stitch this week. Whatever I feel like it. Uh, at some point, I am going to finish my Love My Stitching bag. But other than that, I'm whatever, whatever I want to stitch. I don't know. So, we'll see. But thanks, guys. Um, thanks for hanging in there with me. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.